but the ground is decidedly devoid of life. You know, little shrubs here and there, these little weird trees. But it's almost like this planet is just slowly cooking itself to death. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky episode 249, where it is a good day to return to the No Man's Sky universe. As you can see, we're back at full capacity, running the video in native 4K, as well as with the proper sound recording equipment. So things are much improved over the last handful of episodes. I thank everyone for bearing with me. We've had a lot going on in the world of Thranx's. Uh, I might drop a little bit of a detailed blurb about it in Discord as I start to return back to normal, but for everyone else, it's time to get back to business as usual. So there's not a lot going on here processing-wise, and I'm trying to wrap my head around how we're going to start. There's been an update in my absence, the living ship update, and... We need to uh, we need to be a part of that life. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and get what do we need? We need to get our star bulb and our mordite and our fecium and I think everything else is already taken care of. So we'll just collect some star bramble. We'll talk a little bit about the episode and then I think I'm going to try and do a little bit of this house management stuff off camera. Not too much of it, um, but enough to get us ready because we obviously want to start working towards this living ship and checking it out but also continuing to explore the euclid galaxy heading towards the center so we have two objectives now at least uh, the one was sort of a long-term goal so it is nice to get something to work on while doing that so we're not just staring you know all the way kind of towards the end end of the road um but also, I'm sure we have some frigate expeditions that need to be closed out, some inventory that needs to be managed, quite a few things. So I'm going to go ahead and gather the rest of these and start organizing all of our inventory and getting us to a place where we can resume with our progress. So I'll bring you back in a few. Okay, so I've got all of our inventory straightened out. I accepted all the expeditions. We didn't really get anything of note. We got a couple of frigate upgrade modules, uh, but not really enough. We didn't get four. Uh, we only got two, and we had one, so we have three now. But that's so that's we're still working on those. Um, and that was pretty much all we got. We got some units and a lot of stuff that I sold, and a few things that we're processing in the refiners um, until they're done though I did want to come over here and do the expeditions and I wanted to do those on camera so we could talk about uh, our fleet and how our fleet is doing um, so we've got yeah look at look at all these S classes shaping up the whole first page oh and part of the second a lot of A classes only one C class remaining mm -mm, that is good stuff so let's see we're looking at a three star difficulty exped uh, exploration expedition so let's send one of our S classes, and then we'll send some of the lower ones so they can get more experience, right? And then a support, and then maybe another exploration, and then how about a combat for protection? Four star, 700 tons. We can always go... A holographic analyzer to put us up to five stars just to make it yeah just to make the expedition that much more effective let's do it wonderful so now we have a the next long expedition the more important ones here are the length not necessarily difficulty the difficulty is sort of influences the loop but the length is how many ex personal events will happen along the expedition and those contribute to the overall leveling up of the frigates so we're going to go ahead and Let's see. Combat. So we'll send one of our S class, our best one. And then let's see. Combat, combat. Ooh, all the support is leveled up. And then we'll send a, a low level industrial just for some experience. And I think here we'll go ahead and we'll put the explosive drones to put us up to five stars. Wonderful. All right, now we have the shorter expedition. This one at three stars industrial. So let's go ahead and we'll send, I think we'll send two of these important industrial, one support, and then one and two of the lower industrials, actually. Look at that, five stars. 
No modifications necessary. And then next we'll do the balanced one star. So I think we'll just send trade, trade, exploration, combat, support. Excellent. Only 250 tons. Very easy decision to make. And then the last one. Same thing. We're just going to send a lot of our low levels. Trade, exploration, combat, and support. Look at that. Easy. All right. So now all of our ships are back out and our fuel is a little low. We'll restock here. Look at that. I guess we don't need to make that much till we need it, but that just helps us understand what our reserves are like. Um, let's swing into the specialist wing of our capital ship here. Uh, let's see what analyst entity Uzi Moral has for us. Yes, hungry for information. My current research requires fine-grained mineral analysis. Yes, I can give you all the data I have on minerals. Ehew, perfect traveler. This will greatly aid my research. Please take these nanites as compensation. So what did we get? A small amount. Yeah, 35. Whoops. But we might need to work on that a little bit more. All right, well, let's let's see what we got here, Warrior Tumks. Tumks. Ooh, the bane of thought. Yeah, the thought is, why would you grab this? Although I guess now you can have more than one. But no. If you have one like this, you could, you sort of, you know... I mean, it doesn't have everything. It has a lot, though. Okay, fair enough. So let's swing over to our construction wing. And we'll ensure that we've gathered the last of our things in production. Right, looks like they're all done. No. On the other side. Nah, ha, ha. Yeah. Okay, so that means this one had our cobalt in it. Yep, very good. And this, I think we're just going to put over there. We don't really have any need for it. Yeah, look at that. Ionized cobalt, cobalt. Only 169 over. But I did get those stacks maxed out, which is really what I wanted. That's what I was going for. What do we have over here? Cadmium and... Emerald, I've got processing, so we can get those stacks maxed out. Okay, so I've only cut about 15 minutes worth of work out of the video so far, but I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the last little bit. We're just going to wait for these to finish, and then we'll go on our way. Alright, we're back. We've got 4,000 Emerald ready to go. As you can see, the conversion rate... Not as good as it used to be. It used to be a beautiful 1 to 4. Now it's a 1 to 2. It did put us back on track. Or it helped, rather, I should say. To getting these little areas maxed out here. Almost at a full 9,999. Still plenty of chromatic metal to go. We could do it, but I don't want to linger on this ship any longer. As I'm ready to depart. And start to explore some of the new content. Bungle cluster. Yeah, we don't really don't really need that. Pretty full on most of the plants. We could go on a massive construction phase, but we're sort of in an exploration mode right now. Even more so, we don't yet know the materials that we're going to need to construct the components of the living ship. And whether or not... It's even going to be a suitable ship for jumping through black holes, because if it's not, then we have to stick with the end of sleep as our black hole traveling unique starship. However, for just traveling around a system, I think we're going to stick with the fighter, very much so. Make sure we've got fuel on board, which we do. Wonderful. Okay. Let's go see what we can find in this system, because if my memory serves me from the last episode, we've done no exploration in this system whatsoever. All right. And it looks like that is our first picture. Very nice, subtle blue. Taken off right from the... Right from the capital ship. 
Got a little bit of everything. Okay, well, let's see what kind of planets we got. Freezing planet, high sentinel activity. All right. I suppose we should go to the space station if we're relatively new to the system. We're a bit far away from the space station if we did jump here via wormhole, which I'm pretty sure we did. All right, let's travel to the space station and see what we can find over here. It's not that far away. All right, initiating landing sequence. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot. Son of a gun. We have a ship to sell. I have completely forgotten. Nope, we have to redock. Hold on. Initiate, reinitiate docking procedures. Um, but we're actually going to call our freighter right over here next to the next to the star base. Because we did, we got a junker. We found a crashed starship and brought it up out of the water so that we could sell it. I mean, it's a couple million units. It's definitely nothing to scoff at. And plus, we already have the ship, and I don't want it. Its whole purpose was to be sold, and holding on to it does us no good. Shield down. Oh, this thing is in rough shape. Did we want to repair? I feel like these are fairly, fairly easy to repair, most of them. And we should. I feel like we should take the time to repair these. Because they do add value. It's all small amounts, too. Mm, do I want to spend three microprocessors on a... Well, it's got to have a hyperdrive if it's... I mean... If you're if you're buying a starship and somebody tells you and goes, whoa, whoa, it doesn't have a working hyperdrive, you're kind of like, wait, what? Why am I buying this thing again? We might be getting into the pieces I don't want to repair now. Yeah, wiring loom, antimatter. Okay, how about we sell this thing as it is? How about that, huh? That's enough repairs for me. Oof, it's, cap it's a busy space station with all the capital ships coming in. Ooh, that was a neat looking ship. Did you see that? Like a pink fighter. Now we've got to get to this living ship. That's what we've got to do. First things first. Let's sell what we've got, huh? I think so. Oh, yeah. Why is it red? Drones deployed to Hoshoba's Deadly Vanquisher. I'd like to claim that scrap. Yes, I understand. Break it. Salvage drones deployed. I got a couple of modules. Oh, that's not bad. No... Yeah, no real super valuable stuff. A couple of A-class modules I can break down here. That's kind of neat. Purchase some upgrade modules. Only, no, I'd like to sell. Yeah, look at that. 289, 289. Sure. Once useful springs, because they're not useful anymore. Those days have come and gone. Hmm. A uh, handful of cogs. That's not really uh, once useful springs. The valuable one is the quantum accelerator. No, it's the subatomic regulators. Here we go. That was a million units. Okay. Better than nothing. And look, they've brought our little yellow lawn dart missile fin ship. This thing is okay feet of the moon. Could be a better color. If it was a different color, I think I would love it a lot more. Alright, so at this point, 
We just have to figure out what we're doing and where we're going and how we get on with it. Mission agent, do you have any missions available for me? Uh, we've already visited you, it seems like. Okay. So then obviously we need to trek over to the Nexus. Because they have nothing for us here. The Defeat of the Moon has nothing on it. One of the worst ships you could take off of my capital ship. So of course we're going to go right back and take the EIO-2 Jetson. Or the fighter. I think I might have said the name wrong. There it is again! Oh, it's that, it's that neat purple fighter ship that's flying around. That's odd. No exploration. There it is. The JE2 Iotsun. I had it backwards. You knew what I meant, though. Okay. Wonderful. Well, I guess we'll put a little bit of distance between us, and then we'll summon the space anomaly. There we go. All right. Let's not fly into any asteroids. Oh yeah, a lot of players. That's what we need. All right. Let's look around, see what's going on. Oh, that one's cool, too. I like those wings up, those folding wings up ships. That's a neat one. I'm sure that one's an S-Class. Hmm. What have we here? Shocked underwater outposts. Mm. Oh, that's so much what I'm looking for. But I'd be happy to go back here and see what sort of technology we have. Yes. There we go. Mm-hmm. Light floor, cable, bite beat switch. I feel like I already had all these. Maybe not. No. No, they must... No, they're new things. What do we have? No, these aren't that new. Generators. An advanced audio generator allowing the user to synthesize complex musical arrangements. Away from signals and output electrical impulses connected to the lights and other devices. How interesting. Well, we're going to learn all of them. See, and this is exactly why we held on to our, to our blueprints. All right, let's check all the other pages. Look at that. That's all of it. Wonderful. Okay. So that put us down to two salvage data, so we need to get back up to 15 whenever we get the chance. Should we look at Hyperion? Iteration Hyperion Starship Research? What do we have here? No. There are none other. What have you? Oh my, I see. Well then... Then we must explore the system. Oh, look at that one. That's a cool looking ship. The red one, that red fighter. I like some of these. Some of these are really neat. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I guess we don't really need to be here. Oh, wait, we almost forgot. We'll come take a peek, see if we're going to spend some of this Quicksilver. And then I guess after that, um... Writhing Bush unlocks at tier 2 and 20. Oh, yeah, we're making progress. Okay, that's good. We've got to do that. Banners. Yeah, I don't really want any of that. Um, base building parts. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, so... Antimatter Jetpack Trail... Oh, Rainbow Jetpack Trail. Oh, man, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to earn some Quicksilver and start doing some of those weekend missions more and more and more. Yes, we are, but we got to get a Void Egg, so we need some Quicksilver. So I guess perhaps it's time to do one of these missions. Oh, is that a Eliminate Hazardous Flora? Um, unearth ancient bones. Sure, I'll do that one. I don't think it's going to be that challenging. The Spine of History. So we've got three of those Quicksilver missions built up, too. So we'll be able to get enough for the egg and then start it. But then we're going to be zeroed out for Quicksilver again, so easy come, easy go, I suppose. Oh. The bone-rich planet. And what sort of planet is this, I wonder? Hot planet with ancient bones. Okie dokie. Does not appear to have any sort of ocean. Well, let's see just how hot it gets. Looks like a teal, teal atmosphere. Sort of a granite terrain. All right, rotate. Yep, confirmed. Looks like neon in the atmosphere. It's definitely got a teal appearance to it. All right. We're entering the atmosphere. Let's... Oh, yeah. We've got to get at least one picture. Entering the planet, right? Or no, maybe with the planets behind us. Hold on. Oh, look at that. See, I like those. No, 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 no. If we want to be illuminated, then it's like this, right? Or we come up here and we catch the entry, the atmospheric entry, but it's got to be like this. Maybe, maybe the ship is a little smaller compared to the planet, for reference. All right, I think that's plenty. Terrain appears pretty flat. I mean, there's some variation, but it doesn't look like anything massive. Well, the atmosphere is thick. Confirmed greenhouse gases. But a lot of moisture in the air for being a hot planet. Look at these clouds. This might be pretty limited on the actual rainfall. Oof, okay. Some of the some of the flora is starting to break out now. All right, controls. Uh, controls on our ship are being a little touchy. All right, let's search for natural burial sites. And let's see, organic rock, natural burial site. There's one. Oh, look at all these. Are those bats? Some sort of bat. Intelligent small trees has many hidden toes. There's two different species. Oh, hold on. 
No, not that one. Not the... the yeah, the rain... Rain La Bay. Very cautious, small trees. Is a tapeworm host. Okay. Cool, I guess, if you're into tapeworms. I mean, I'm sure the tapeworm is cool with it. Not a lot of natural burial sites uh, to pick from. Okay, so we'll go to this one first. It's only 500 you away. No problem. Oh, and look at this. We've got a wrecked out little machine down here. That's good. Viscous fluids. I'll take those. We're going to start converting all of those up again. Ooh, A-class module. That's nanites. This planet just feels... abandoned. Like, okay, there's a couple of birds flying around, but the ground is decidedly devoid of life. You know, little shrubs here and there, these little weird trees. But it's almost like this planet is just slowly cooking itself to death. I mean, it's incredibly hot here in the shade, just with the heat coming off of the ground and the reflected sunlight. It's pretty bad. I mean, the sensors are saying the air is literally burning. Alright. Well, hopefully we'll get what we need. All right. Ooh, a rare skeleton. The intact skeleton was found buried with another tragically smaller variation of the same form. It's impossible to tell whether the adult creature or the young perished first. A rare skeleton. That's worth money. And then we just go right back? Oh, wow. Easiest 250 Quicksilver you could get. Although... Oh, that's going to put us... Whoa, that's going to put us at exactly what we need for the Void Egg. That's going to zero out our Quicksilver. I'm okay with that. It just, you know, it means we need to get a weekend mission done for sure. I don't know when we'll be able to, but I'm sure we will at some point. And then there's supposed to be a mission that goes through the origin of the void egg and those creatures and we're gonna we're gonna have to find that and learn about that so that's another thing we need to get figured out I'm just gonna get this dihydrogen crystal since we're here just a little bit I'm not trying to go crazy on it look it's like it's this type of like eclipse but There you go. There you go. This feels like we crash landed, but that picture almost. <laughs> like, oh nope, no, we no crash landing. In fact, we're taking off right now. So this is still the system that our capital ship is in, which is good because it means we got a little bit of exploration done already. I sort of want to see... Hold on. This planet, though. Is that like a large green ocean? No, those are trees. Is that a blue atmosphere with green trees? Bountiful planet. <laughs> well, that gives us something to do in the, in the next... in the follow-on episode, but we've got to go turn this quest in for now. We can't be chasing every squirrel that jumps out of every tree here. We'll never get this done. But... Oop, better pay attention. But we'll head over there shortly. We're not going to leave this system right away. For now... Let's go get that Quicksilver. Yeah, see, we gotta get one of these. We've got to, got to get one of those. Yeah, mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, some of those other ones are cool. I mean, that's a neat-looking fighter. However... Yeah, you know. That guy knows. Complete the mission. Give me the nip-nip buds. Thank you. The Quicksilver, though. That's what we're really after, right? All right, Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. Show me the goods. Yes. An anomalous egg. The shell is tough and leathery and twitches when touched. A faint tapping can be heard coming from within. From time to time, it appears to sing. So, yeah. Oh, look at that. 1.2 million for that skeleton, too. And we got a cannon module. Well, we can put this on our freighter. And then we can go handle the other stuff. That's great. That is so great. And now we got the egg. Yay! So we can start growing our own ship. Fugitive starship detected. Mostly harmless. E, 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 e. Okay. Let's do it. I'm in my fighter. I can't pass up a bounty in my fighter. Come on, what what would that be like? Ooh, look out, that phase beam is pretty strong. Oh, you wanted the positron ejector, okay. Hold on. Where are we going here? Let's go to our capital ship. No. No, no, no. We'll go to the space station. Perfect. All right. So we're going to hop off. We're going to sell our rear skeleton and our... A class module. And then. And then we'll be doing fairly well. Uh, no, I guess it doesn't matter looking at the Starship modules because we've already looked at them for this system. But even still, I want to sell it. And then we just need this other trade terminal over here to buy this rare skeleton off of me for 1.3 million units. A gross amount of... Oh, you want to talk to me? The warrior keeps looking at my multi-tool. They appear envious of its technology. I would like dialect help, please. Recruit Tessetsisi growls suspiciously. Eventually they tap at their data pad and display a list of language symbols. Uh, teach me an aggression symbol. Viking word for strike. There it is, 1.2. Only 0.7% re cost reduction. That is good. Over 2,000 years old. This belongs in a museum. Commercial, secret, alien. Okay. So let's purchase map. Oh, they just give me a random one if I do that. Um, okay. Exchange maps. One navigation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is right. Oh, okay, okay. Well, this is what I want. Perfect. So from here, that should be what we wanted. So now we spent some of our navigation data, but we rounded those out. We'll put this over here. What do we need? A couple more secrets. All right, well, let's, let's get everything nice and rounded up. Product 
Oh, that's enough navigation data. Now we're out, huh? Oh, we are. That's okay. We'll get more. Navigation data is pretty easy to get. In fact, I would not be surprised if there wasn't some sitting around waiting for us to take. But that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. We'll have to collect our navigation data in the next episode as we prepare to grow our void egg and also check out the new mission and learn more about these organic ship creatures. Very, very intriguing. But until next time, take care.